Welcome students. Let's start with triangles. Triangles are one of the most fundamental geometric shapes and have a variety of properties characterizing their various parts. Their interior angles, their exterior angles, their sides as well as the relationship between each of these parts. Today we will learn properties of triangle. Now let's look at the very first property. It says sum of all the angles in a triangle is always 180 degree. That means when we add all these angles their sum will be equal to 180 degree. Now let's consider an example. We have triangle PQR in which angle Q equals to 50 degree, angle P equals to 70 degree and angle R equals to 60 degree. Now when we add these three angles their sum will be equal to 180 degree. So that means sum of all the angles in a triangle is always 180 degree. Now let's learn how to find missing angle in a given triangle. We have triangle ABC where measure of angle B equals to 58 degree, measure of angle C equals to 48 degree and we need to find missing angle that is angle A. Now as we know that sum of all the angles in a given triangle is always 180 degree so simply plug in the values of angle B and angle C and we will get angle A plus 58 degree plus 48 degree equals to 180 degree. On adding 58 and 48 you will get 106. So that means angle A plus 106 degree equals to 180 degree. Now subtract 106 degree from both the sides and you will get angle A equals to 74 degree. So that means missing angle in a given triangle is 74 degree. Now look at the second property of the triangle. It says in a triangle an exterior angle is equal to sum of two interior opposite angles. Look at the triangle PQR. Here measure of exterior angle that is angle PRS is equal to sum of two interior opposite angles that is angle P and angle Q. So you can say that angle PRS is equal to sum of angle P and angle Q. Now let's see an example. From the property we know an exterior angle that is angle PRS is equal to sum of angle P and angle Q. Now measure of angle P equals to 50 degree and angle Q equals to 70 degree. Now when we add these two angles we get the exterior angle that is angle PRS which is equals to 120 degree. Now let's see how to find the measure of exterior angle when measure of two interior opposite angles is given to you. In triangle ABC measure of two interior opposite angles that is angle A equals to 50 degree and angle B equals to 60 degree is given to you. And we need to find measure of exterior angle that is angle ACD. Now as we know in a given triangle measure of an exterior angle is equal to the sum of the measure of two interior opposite angles. That is measure of angle ACD is equal to sum of 50 degree and 60 degree which is equal to 110 degree. So we can say measure of exterior angle 
ACD is 110 degree. The third property of a triangle is the sum of length of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side. In a triangle ABC sum of any two sides is always greater than the third side. So that means side AB plus BC should be greater than AC. Side AC plus CB should be greater than AB or side AC plus AB should be greater than BC. Now let's understand third property with help of an example. We are given measure of side AB equals to 5 inches, BC equals to 4 inches and AC equals to 6 inches. Now let's check whether the following are sides of a triangle or not. As we know sum of any two sides of a triangle is always greater than the third side so let's check with the sum of side AB and AC which is 5 plus 6 which gives us 11. Now 11 is greater than the third side BC which is 4 inches. Similarly we will check with other sides as well. If these are also true then we can say that given sides are sides of a triangle. Now see the fourth property of a triangle. It says in a triangle if two sides are equal then the angles opposite to these sides are also equal. Now in triangle ABC side AB is equal to side AC and angle C is opposite to side AB and angle B is opposite to side AC. So by above property angle C is equal to angle B. Now let's consider an example. In triangle ABC side AB is equal to side AC and angle C is equal to 60 degree. And we need to find measure of angle A and angle B. Now let's first of all find the measure of angle B. Using above property as side AB is equal to AC, therefore angle B is equal to angle A. So angle B equals to 60 degree. Now let's find the measure of angle A. By using very first property that is sum of all the angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree, we will find the measure of angle A which will be equal to 60 degree. Now see one more example. In triangle PQR, side PQ equals to side PR and angle Q equals to 70 degree. And we need to find the measure of remaining two angles. Now in triangle PQR, as side PQ equals to PR, so that means angle opposite to these sides are also equal in measure. So angle Q equals to angle R equals to 70 degree. Now let's find angle P. Use the very first property that is sum of all the angles in a triangle is equals to 180 degree and simply plug in the value of angle Q and angle R as 70 degree and you will get measure of angle P equals to 40 degree. So this brings us to the end of the session. Hope you have enjoyed the session. Take care. Bye-bye.